The First Amendment guarantees citizens' most fundamental rights, like the right to free speech, and the Fourteenth Amendment protects those rights from state interference. In Edwards v. South Carolina, the United States Supreme Court considered whether a state oversteps those constitutional protections by preventing protesters from legally and peacefully protesting. In 1961, James Edwards and many other black high school and college students participated in a civil rights protest. The students marched from the Zion Baptist Church in Columbia, South Carolina, to the grounds of South Carolina's State House, which were open to the general public. The students' purpose was to express their grievances to the state legislators regarding the state's racially discriminatory laws. When the students arrived on the grounds, they were met by dozens of police officers who had received advanced warning of the protest. The students proceeded to walk through the grounds in an orderly, peaceful manner carrying placards while a crowd of onlookers watched. As the students marched, police officers advised them to disperse within 15 minutes or they would be arrested. The students refused to leave and instead began loudly singing patriotic and religious songs while clapping their hands and stomping their feet. Neither the students nor the onlookers caused or threatened any violence. The police officers ultimately arrested the students and took them to jail. The state of South Carolina charged the students with breach of peace, and a magistrate court convicted them. The South Carolina Supreme Court affirmed the convictions. The students appealed, arguing that there was no evidence to support their convictions and that they were therefore denied due process under the 14th Amendment. 